This video is brought to you by Rocketstock.com. What's up? We have another great After Effects tips video that are going to help you create some awesome high-end fashion effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to this video. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, I'm not sure what I was going to name this tutorial because these are just three really cool effects that can be applied to a wide variety of projects. But in this video, we're going to break down three specific effects that are really easy to do and can help you enhance your motion graphic you know, work within a few minutes. So let's go ahead and jump in the video and let's get started. So to start off our tutorial, we'll jump into our first technique, which is about creating repeated shapes using particles. All right, so in order to do our first technique, we need a symbol, some sort of design element. So I'm gonna just grab the textile tool and I'm gonna type out the letter X. And of course you can come and grab like say the star tool and use a star or any other type of shape that you wanna use. You can even bring in your own graphics, but I'm just gonna use an X here. So for X, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And we'll go to layer new solid and we'll call it particles. Then we'll go to effect simulation and we're gonna grab CC particle world. And let's go straight down to the particle tab, set the particle type to a textured quad polygon. Then let's open up the texture tab and set the texture layer to our graphic, which is the layer 2X on in my case. And we can turn off our graphic layer. <clears throat> and if I solo this layer, you can see that we have a series of you know particles in here but they're really small so what we can what we can do here is go into producer and bring up the position z so we want to scale this a little bit closer to us and now we can visually see that there's x's in here then let's go down here to the birth and depth size and let's set this both to one so we can see what we're doing and now we have some x's then under rotation speed in initial rotation let's set this down to zero and now we're getting these X's a little bit more into our face. Then let's come here to max opacity and set it to 100%. And then we can always reposition our position Z by touch. All right, cool. So we're getting these X's just coming out of here like so. And we need to play with the physics. <clears throat> so let's go back to the producer real quick and let's set the radius Z to zero. And then let's increase the radius Y and the radius X just a touch a little bit more. Then let's go into the physics. And let's set the velocity down to 0.1. And let's set the gravity to zero. And let's set the extra to zero as well. So now we have our random object here, which is X's animating in and out very easily. And if you don't want the objects to animate around a title or an important part of your composition, just pre-compose this layer and mask it out. And before we move further on the video, I wanna say thank you to rocketstock.com for sponsoring this video. Rocketstock has a handful of After Effects templates and awesome packs for filmmakers. And in this specific pack called Creator, there's over 250 elements for filmmakers, which has an epic collection of over 250 elements, including logo reveals, end screens, lower thirds, and so much more, which allows you to get work done really quick and help you enhance the overall value of your project just within a matter of minutes. And if you want to learn more about these 250 plus elements from Creator, you can check the links in the video description and you can also check out many of their awesome other video packs. So for our second technique, we're going to talk about creating really harsh distortion. All right, in order to create a really cool distortion, we need to create the distortion. So let's come here to the top and grab the rectangle tool. And let's draw like a nice big you know rectangle like this and you can do any variant of the size or whatever you want and all we're gonna do here is come to the beginning of our composition hit p and keyboard for position add a keyframe for it we'll move this to the end of our animation i'll just say six seconds or something and i'm just gonna move this up and then i'm gonna go to layer pre-compose and we'll call it map one click ok then let's go up to layer new uh, adjustment layer and let's go to Effect, Distort, and we're going to add Displacement Map. And we'll set the Displacement Map layer to our Map 1. And we'll turn off our Map 1 in the timeline, just hide that. And we'll come here to the Max Horizontal Displacement, and we can start just, you know, randomizing this by a little bit. And we'll go ahead and move our Adjustment layer to be underneath anything that's important, like our title. So that, therefore, it's only going to affect the background for this one. And of course, you can create multiple shapes in that comp. And let's go ahead and create another Displacement Map by going to Layer, New, Solid. And we'll just call this one noise. Then let's go to effect noise and grain and we're gonna add fractal noise. Set the fractal type to max. Set the noise type to block. Increase the contrast to maybe like 250 or so and then decrease the brightness until you have just a few blocks on here like maybe negative 200 brightness. And then let's go into transform. 
let's uncheck uniform scaling and let's increase the scale width past 600 so until we get this and then we can adjust the scale height if we want and then what we'll do here is go to the beginning of our timeline and we're going to animate the offset turbulence and we'll go to the end of our timeline and we will just animate the offset turbulence to go up down or left to right depending on what you want to do and so it's just going to do that then let's go ahead and pre-compose this layer and call it map to move in move all attributes into new composition click OK then we'll turn it off let's grab our displacement map layer let's duplicate it put it on top of everything this time change the displacement map layer to the new map and maybe we'll bring the horizontal displacement to 5 and set the vertical displacement to 30 and then make sure you check on wrap pixels around and of course make sure you set the wrap pixels around on the original displacement layer as well and now for displacement we now have another technique in this awesome composition. For our third and final technique, we're gonna talk about creating a little bit of a subtle RGB effect. All right, our final technique is really easy to do and I love doing this. So what we'll do here is grab all of our layers, go to layer pre-compose and we'll just call it all or whatever you wanna call it. Click okay. Then we'll go to effect channel and we're gonna grab shift channels. Then we'll set the green layer to full off and the blue layer to full off. Then we'll duplicate this layer by going up to edit, duplicate, and we'll set the red channel to full off, set the green back on, duplicate this layer, set the green off, set this to blue. All right, then we'll set the two top layers to screen underneath the blend mode. If you didn't see the blend mode, you can just toggle switch the modes until you see it. And then boom, back to our original composition, looks good. Then we come here to any of our layers here, just hit PR on the keyboard for position, and we can just offset this and boom, now you're getting a little bit of RGB effect. That looks awesome. Anyway, what we'll do here is we'll all click the stopwatch for position. We'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis, two comma 10 and close parenthesis. And now we have our RGB effect along with our other techniques to help enhance this awesome composition and make it something unique on its own. The title animation that I use in this video comes from a pack called Toka, which has 1,350 elements, including a ton of titles and so many more elements. And if you want to learn more about these title animations, you can check our links in the video description. So those are our three high-end fashion motion graphic effects. Hopefully you are able to take these techniques and we'll be able to apply this to your future projects. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating.